Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to be talking about my five year gym transformation. How I went from 145 pounds and a kid who got picked on a lot in high school and really didn't have too many friends to now 185 pounds five years later and I'm doing pretty alright for myself. I got my own place and uh, I got a beautiful family and girlfriend and friends so life's good for me. I'm really happy with it and I think all of it comes from the gym. I seriously believe that. Uh, five years ago before I started working out I was a loser. I literally like had no social skills. I was a terrible person. I wasn't like a criminal or anything. I just didn't have any friends because I didn't want to have friends. I didn't put myself out there. I didn't tell people what I wanted with my life and uh, I think it's super important that you put your goals out there and that you create a vision for yourself and you just keep working at it every day. So I'm going to explain a little bit how uh, I put on 40 pounds and I'd say about 25 pounds of it is muscle. I think if you gain 5 pounds a year that's pretty good of muscle and I've been doing this for 5 years every single day. So I'd say about 25 of my 40 pounds is muscle give or take maybe even more or less. But I'm going to let you guys know some of my tips and some suggestions I might have for you guys out there who are watching this. And uh, I just want to say I got inspired by FaZe Rain. He made a video on how he lost some weight. And he basically said he like played a lot of basketball and drank water. But uh, I'm going to tell you guys how I gained some weight, how I gained some muscle. Because uh, back in the day when I was in high school and I was a senior, I was skinny. There was kids that were like freshmen and juniors and sophomores that were bigger than me. And I, I, I just found out that enough was enough and I wanted to just start. And I think the biggest thing for anybody out there is just taking that step forward and beginning. And it doesn't matter where you are now, it's where you want to be in a year from now, in two years from now, in three years from now. And I even posted this on my Instagram today. This is actually the reason I'm making this. I posted the picture shirtless. I don't really post those that often. A lot of you guys responded really nicely to it. A lot of you guys gave me some inspiration saying that I'm inspiring you guys and I'm motivating you guys. And that's what motivated me to do this for you. And I think the most important thing is to just love the process. And I put that as a caption. I said, love the process every day. Don't worry about the results. Don't worry about, oh, in a week from now, I want to have like a huge bicep or I want to have some abs or whatever. You just kind of love the process. You got to do it because you actually enjoy it or you have to have a motivation behind it at least. So I know a lot of you guys aren't motivated. I know a lot of you guys don't want to go to the gym. You don't want to put in the work. Uh, for me, when I started, I had two motivations. Number one, I didn't want to be seen as a scrawny kid anymore. I would be called frail on my football team. Mimi, don't, don't, don't you freaking, don't chew on the table, chew on his bone. I was one of the scrawniest kids on the football team, one of the weakest kids. I was probably in like the bottom 1%. I was, I was weak, I was a frail little kid. So that motivated me a little bit. I'd say majority of my motivation came from girls. I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, I, I just wanted to impress girls. I wanted girls to look at me differently. I was just playing video games all day. A girl wouldn't look in my direction twice and I just wanted to change that about myself. So girls were a huge motivation for me at first and uh, I encourage you guys if you want to change your body then just find some sort of a motivation. If it's a girl, if it's a goal, if you want to be a bodybuilder, I don't care what it is. Find something and just latch onto that and think about it every single day. And then as I started getting into the gym, as I started making it into a routine, I realized that I loved it. I was obsessed with it. It was something I couldn't live without. I think that's the only thing in my life that I could do every single day without getting bored of it. You know, I think I could make a YouTube video every day and love it, but eventually people get bored and they get stale. Um, with Call of Duty, sometimes it gets stale. You know, anything in life gets stale. But the gym for me was just that anchor. It's, it's what The Rock always preaches. He says, find your anchor, and that's my anchor. Just like how he has his is the gym, mine is the gym as well. Find your anchor in life, guys. Find something that's a healthy alternative. FaZe Rain said his alternative is basketball. He loves playing basketball. He doesn't do it because he's losing weight. He's doing it because he loves it. Find some sort of a physical activity that will never get boring for you and something you could see yourself doing every single day and looking forward to it every day. I feel so blessed and fortunate that my brain works in a way where I enjoy going to the gym every single day. I think a lot of you guys will if you try to give it a shot. I think you guys would fall in love with it. I know a lot of people also don't like going to the gym and that's okay. You don't have to work out to put on muscle. You don't have to be training and, and lifting 70 pound dumbbells to be putting on muscle. You could still get cut, you could still get definition just doing body weight or just doing some physical exercises. As long as you stay active, you're gonna see progress. So when I first went to the gym, I realized quickly that I loved it and I knew that it didn't matter. I wasn't gonna need steroids. I wasn't gonna need to do anything with test boosters or, or any type of a cheat to make myself and my body look bigger because I knew that eventually I was gonna get to a point where I felt that people would look at me and say, wow, Doug, you know, you really work hard in the gym and you really put in a lot of effort to what you do. So I never have an end goal. And I think that's super important. If any of you guys are out there just trying to figure out like, what's your end goal? Do you want to have like an eight pack or do you want to have like biceps bulging out of your arm? I don't know what your end goals are, 
but I never have an end goal. I just work hard every single day and I just let my life live out that way. I feel very fortunate that I could wake up when I want to wake up, go to the gym with my friends and work out every day and make YouTube videos for you guys as a living. And I never take that for granted. That also goes for my YouTube channel. I don't have an end goal with my YouTube. I don't say, hey, once I get 2,200,000 subscribers, I'm done and that's it. There's always going to be a motivation for me and my motivation is to entertain you guys. My motivation is to inspire you guys, to uplift you guys. And that's something I can't ever see myself living without. So I want to do that for the rest of my life. But I would love to hit 10 million subscribers one day in this channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel right now, help me out, subscribe to the channel. I don't know, if we hit 10 million subscribers overnight, that would be friggin' insane. You guys might think it sounds crazy for me to say that, but it's true. 10 million subscribers is attainable. You gotta think big if you wanna get big, if you wanna go places in life. If you think small, you're only gonna be small. If you think big, you're gonna be able to get places. I envisioned what I have right now when I got into this, when I stopped going to college, because I knew it was possible, I knew it was obtainable. If there's other people out there that are able to achieve crazy accomplishments, whether it's having a lot of social media followers, being a great recording artist, winning an Oscar, uh, being a Super Bowl champion, or being a soccer champion, anything is attainable because other people have done it before. So. What's the limit? Nobody has a limit. As long as you don't put a limit on yourself, you're never going to have a limit. You're going to be able to push yourself as far as you want to push yourself because it all stems from your attitude and your mindset. So don't make excuses. Take responsibility when things go wrong. Take responsibility especially for your actions. And I promise you guys, it's going to be a lot easier on yourself. You're going to find your lives a lot less stressful. You're going to find things more fun. You're going to find people starting to like you more because you're not putting negative thoughts out there for the world. Put your goals out there for people. Let them know what you want and don't make excuses for them. Let your actions speak for yourself. Work hard every single day. Good things are going to happen. Everybody starts in different places. Some people are born into rich families and have people that are great people around them all the time. Some people are born extremely poor families or just getting by or just paying rent and barely having rent or having like their dad not in their life or their mom not in their life or even both their parents not in their life. Everybody is born differently. Everybody has a different starting point but everybody controls their ending point. So just to recap again, before I got into the gym, I didn't really care about anything except Call of Duty. Being number one on the leaderboards, I achieved that. Winning a Call of Duty National Championship, I achieved that. Then I felt that I achieved everything in the Call of Duty space that I wanted to. I didn't think there would be a future in it. I didn't think it would be a good career. I decided that I wanted to go to the NFL and I wanted to get a good degree. And if the NFL didn't work out, I could get a good job with my degree at a college and everything would be okay. So before the summer of my last year of high school and my peer going into college, I was working out every single day. That's where I got the mindset that I have now. I think that was a really important time in my life. I took like a year and a half off of Call of Duty. I remember coming back going to UMG Chicago and Scump looked at me, he's like, damn, you're swole. I was, I was wearing like a black Alfani V-neck shirt. My arms were like looking real good. And that was something I also envisioned too because I, I never had my arms fill the shirt. I talked about this before, but my arms are always like super skinny. And I was like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna fill my shirt. I wanna look like a, a man, you know? And it really does change you. It makes you look so much different. It makes you look older. It makes you look more mature. People look at you differently. They respect you a little bit more. In case if you're like me and you have a dumb mouth and you say stupid things, Keep your mouth shut and don't say anything and I promise people are going to be respecting you all left and right. Before I even saw any results, I had the mindset that I was going to be successful and I was going to be able to transfer my body and then once it started happening, I knew anything else was possible and I hope you guys could take that from this video. Anything is possible guys. Anything you want to do in this world is obtainable as long as you put in the effort, you take responsibility for your actions and you surround yourself with good people. If you have good people around you, if you work hard, if you have a good attitude, you could achieve anything you want. You could get 20 pounds of muscle, you could get 40 pounds of muscle, you could lose 100 pounds, 200 pounds, you could do anything in this world, guys. Everyone has the capability, everyone has something inside of them that's special that they're meant to bring out and put it towards other people, whether it's soccer player, whether it's being the best accountant, helping people through a financial time, I don't know, it could be big, it could be small. Find the one thing that you're good at, work hard at it every single day, stay positive, hold on to your dreams, and that's the best advice I could give. I know I didn't really talk about the scientifics of how I put on muscle, but the main message is get your ass in the gym and work out. That's how you put on muscle. If you guys want me to go in detail or even show you some of my lifts, uh, just leave a like on this video. I can make weekly fitness videos talking about anything. I could talk about my supplements. I could talk about my diet. I could talk about my training program. I could talk about I could talk about my personal favorite workouts. You know, I think the best ways of putting on muscle. Uh, I've went through a lot, but the best advice I can give you for right now before I make any of those videos is Google whatever questions you have because I'm telling you, Google is a lifesaver. We are blessed to be living in 2016 where you. You can just type something in on the internet and get a bunch of doctors and professionals to give you responses to your questions. Take advantage of your opportunities, work hard every single day, and that's the message I want.
want to send to you guys with this video. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you guys can comment down below what you guys think. I'll answer some of your questions. Again, please, please like the video. Help me get to 10 million subscribers. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.